Just over the weekend, rapper Nas's California home was reportedly burglarized. According to TMZ, two men broke into his property on Saturday night, having smashed a back door to get inside, as well as getting away with a bunch of stuff from his residence. Nas's team was made aware of the situation from a ring camera, and when the two robbers were leaving, it said the crew saw them and called the cops. By then, they were long gone. The rapper picked up his massive $3.5 million mansion in the outskirts of Calabasas just last year in 2021. We'll take a look at Nasa's Mediterranean-style custom-built home that boasts over 6,500 square feet of space and amenities like a games room and grotto-style swimming pool. At the time of the robbery, Nas wasn't home and neither was anyone else either. In terms of the damage done, it's said that the two men tore the mansion apart, stealing at least two large bags worth of belongings. Nas was still out of town the last anyone had checked, but he has to do a full inventory of anything and everything that was stolen. No arrests have been made thus far, and the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is investigating. But before we check out Nas's Calabasas, crib, let's also take a quick look at some of his former places too. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Way back in 2012, Nas allegedly was having issues with tax debt and lost his Georgia estate to a super publicized foreclosure. According to records, the rapper bought this home back in 2004 for 585 k but SunTrust Bank, who issued Nas the loan, said he couldn't foot the bill and defaulted on the payments. When the bank took the property back and sold it to the highest bidder, the home only went for about 348 k a steal for the new owner. When the bank took the property back and sold it to the highest bidder, the home only went for about 348 k a steal for the new owner. Located down south in the town of McDonough, Georgia, Nas's former home was built in 1999 and boasted over 3,500 square feet of living space inside. There is a grand entry with double height ceilings and large living spaces throughout, along with two bedrooms, three full baths, and two half baths. There is a formal living room which was definitely decorated for the times, including a stately white fireplace, bold walls painted in reddish hues, and flanked with columns. The kitchen was quite dated too, but I'm sure it had been renovated since, and it has a large center island with range, as well as a nearby breakfast nook. Other features included a custom home theater, a games room decked out with all the fun activities you could imagine, and a fitness center. Out back, Nas's former Georgia mansion also had a swimming pool and spa, which was installed in 2003. It looked like the perfect setup to entertain. In 2005, Nas married rap songstress Kelis Rogers in Atlanta. However, in 2007, the couple bought a home in Los Angeles for $1.6 million. We don't know about the rapper's one-time residency here, but we do know it was built in 1947 and offered over 3,200 square feet of space with four beds and three baths. We also know compared to this place, his latest home is a definite upgrade. These days, things seem to be looking up for the iconic hip hop star. Not only did Nas win his first ever Grammy this year for the rap album King's Disease, he also got the keys to his new sprawling mansion in the semi rural Calabasas outskirts. Located in an exclusive community just outside the well known Calabasas, California, Nas paid $3.5 million for his new crib and it sits on a huge lot of over 10 acres looking like quite the oasis. Walking up to the home, the exterior is slightly boxy and modern, and records claim the estate was custom built in 2007. It boasts a Mediterranean meets southwestern style in its architecture, and inside has 6,526 square feet of space with four bedrooms and 5.5 baths throughout. Sounds like the nicest home Nas has owned over the years, at least out of those that we know of. The house was originally listed for $2.5 million, but with all the luxury features, land size, and more, it attracted a bidding war, one which the rapper came out on top. His mansion sits beyond a long driveway and is of course protected by gates and sufficient security cameras for privacy. It's secluded, and it boasts surrounding views of mountain vistas. The multi-level home greets guests with a double-height entryway and wrought iron staircase along with polished marble floors and plush carpeted stairs. 
The main floor's highlight has got to be the living room with fireplace, built-in bookshelves, and walls of glass sliders opening to a terrace. This living room is super cozy to say the least, and the full walls of bookshelves create a very nice mood. Nearby, there's a gourmet kitchen that has wooden cabinets, a center island with plenty of space to food prep, fancy Viking appliances, and granite counters. There's also a separate breakfast room and a butler's pantry with extra beverage fridge, so it's safe to say this space is decked out. While all of that is nice and impressive, this floor also has a family room with another fireplace and a flat screen TV, and elsewhere, a sunny home office where the rapper can sign some business deals. Nas's Calabasas Mansion also has standout features like a spacious wine cellar with tasting area and a games room with billiards table and a wet bar. Moving to the rapper's upscale master retreat, it comes fit for a king too. Not only is the room massive, it has everything from a contemporary two-way fireplace to a sitting room and even a private balcony. The sleeping quarters in the private sitting room are full of light thanks to the chic windows and glass doors. There is also dual walk-in closets and a luxe spa style bath with steam shower and jetted bathtub. If that's not enough, Nas can grab a workout at the separate home gym. To complete his new estate, the grounds are equally stunning. Outdoors, there's an al fresco dining patio which boasts a built-in barbecue and plenty of terrace space to soak up the sun. And that is not even the feature back here. There's an amazing grotto style pool with a spa, waterfall, and water slide, which I really hope will be put to good use on those hot California days. To top the mansion off, literally and figuratively, Nas's home boasts a rooftop deck with picture perfect views. Well, that's all I got for the homes of Nas, so I think that concludes this house tour. We saw how far the rapper has come since his Georgia property he lost to foreclosure back in 2012 to his current mega upgrade in Calabasas. He may have had to let go of his former home way back when, but the silver lining is that his new crib is way nicer. Out of all the rooms and amenities in his new place, what did you like best? What did you think about the style of the home? I think it looks like a sunny paradise and it's totally unique. Not to mention, I'm obsessed with his pool and grotto complex. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Nas's mansion in the comments. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up our Nas house tour. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the rapper's Calabasas crib down in the comment section. And if not that, then answer me this one question. If your home was robbed, what would you prefer the burglars stealing from you, your car or your entire wardrobe? Let me know your pick, you know, if you had to ever choose. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all on the next tour. Bye!